Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my beauty favorites of 2014. I have so many products that I've discovered this last past year and I'm so excited to show you to share and to show you guys the products that I've been loving for this past year and I'm excited to also experience some new products in this upcoming year because I know a lot of makeup products just branch out with a lot of new makeup for the new year but for now I'm going to show you guys my favorites of 2014. I guess I'm going to start off in the order that I would kind of do my face. So the first thing I want to talk about is my favorite foundation for 2014 and I did kind of go through different foundations and different foundations throughout the whole year but these are the ones that stick to me and have stuck to me since like the middle of the year but I have been loving these foundations I literally still use them and this is the Revlon color stay and the L'Oreal true match I love these like by themselves and I also love them together they give amazing amazing coverage they stay on the face for such a long time I tried out the L'Oreal true match because of um, Nicole Guerrero and I believe I tried out the Revlon color stay because of um I Heart Makeup 92, I think that's her name. But anyways, I decided that I really loved both of these foundations and one day I was like, hmm, I wonder what it would do if I mixed them because this is a matte finish. This is kind of like a glowy finish and I loved it and I've been using these foundations for a long time and this is literally the only foundation that I have throughout my whole entire collection that I've had to repurchase. This is my second bottle this year and it literally lasts for so long. For being at the drugstore and such small bottles so that's what I really love about it and I've been using it ever since and I'm going to continue probably using it through um, 2015. For concealer there's only one concealer that has stood out to me this whole entire year and with concealers as well I kind of jump from concealer to concealer to concealer. I'm a concealer hoarder that's literally the biggest collection I have in my collection is concealers and this was the concealer that stood out to me and this is already going to be my second tube. I already pre-purchased a backup but this is the MAC Pro Longwear as you guys can see there is just a tiny tiny bit at the bottom. I love this concealer if you're looking for a good high coverage concealer that doesn't crease. Um, this is a really really good one and you guys have seen me use this multiple times in all of my tutorials and I seriously love it so so much and I don't think I'll ever use another concealer for under my eyes besides this one. Next for powders, I literally have been loving these two products for I want to say a whole entire year. I first started out with the, the Too Faced Primed and Portless and this is the Pressed um, White Powder. I love this stuff. If you have problems with pores or you have um, self-consciousness about your big pores, this is definitely a powder to go for with the Benefit Professional underneath or the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This will make your face look so flawless and you will look like you don't have pores whatsoever. And I'm already going to get a backup of this. Literally when I got this, I got this like back in the summer or like before summer even started. And it has lasted me up until now and there's still more in here that I could totally use. But I love this powder so, so much and this is what I'm wearing on my face today. And then another powder that I um, love is the Makeup Forever um, HD Translucent Powder and it just comes like this. They do make it in a compact form which I also leave inside my purse. But this is just a um, loose version. And this powder is like so finely milled. It makes your foundation look flawless or even, I've never tried it by itself, but it, even just with a BB cream, if you set your foundation with this, it will keep you matte all day long. And I seriously love it so, so much. I already repurchased this. This is my second um, little jar. For eyes, this is basically the only thing I've been using all year long. Um, I used to use the Urban Decay Eden Primer and then I switched to this because the Eden Primer was kind of creasing on me. And this is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and it just looks like this. And I literally love this so much. I love this because it conceals my veins on my eyes and it conceals my redness as well. And if you're going for a neutral eye look you could just you literally use this on a day that you don't want to wear eyeshadow and you're good to go or you can just put like a white powder and just a little bit of crease color and it's like literally perfect so that's why I love this primer so much and I like that it makes my eyeshadows last for such a long time literally I think one time I used this and I slept with my makeup till the next day and my eyeshadow was like still there it was crazy I don't sleep with my makeup all the time but sometimes I'm too lazy and it does kind of happen eyeshadows um 
this was like not a tough question to answer at all when it came to eyeshadows this is the this is the palette that i literally used for a whole entire year i got this um back in february last year and i cannot still stop using it and it is the Too faced chocolate bar palette this is the original palette um and this is the skinnier version i know a lot of people have the fatter version but this is the skinnier one and this is such a great palette for a neutral girl or a neutral lover and yeah i've pretty much used every single eyeshadow in this in this palette um and i've been using it ever since last year so this is definitely the palette that took the cake this year and i did just originally get the new um semi-sweet palette which i also really really love but i think this one would always be that one for some reason because it was the first one that ever came out and i just love it it's so cute and the other palette that i knew i had to mention is the naked basics palette by urban decay and the reason why is because I've been using this for such a long time that I already hit pan on it. If you guys can see, I hit pan on these two shades, which is Walk of Shame and Naked 2. This is such a great palette for if you're on the go or just for every day. This is a perfect little palette to also like throw in your purse, which I really like. And I also really like because all of the colors in here are matte, except for this color if you want like a um, highlight lid color or even just for your brow bone or your inner corner this is a great palette to have and you could also play it up by doing some dramatic looks with these two darker end colors as well this year the thing that i decided to venture out into is contouring and bronzing of the skin and i just really love bronzing and contouring now i cannot do my makeup without it even if i'm doing a really minimal makeup look i at least have to bronze or contour so the bronzing powder i've been loving is the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and this is the milk chocolate one and this is in the color light medium and it just looks like this i love this bronzer because it's not too dark for my skin tone because i am really really pale and it doesn't come off muddy or anything like that it is a cool tone bronzer so it's really nice for the skin um, that is what it looks like right there and it's not too harsh and I like this because you can also use this to um, contour as well but I just like it a little bit better because um, for bronzing is because it's a little bit darker than my hula so hula I use for contouring and I've already hit pan on this and I've literally used this this bronzer as well for a whole entire year I got this back in January last year and I've been using it ever since and I already hit pan and I think that this still is going to last me for a really, really long time. I haven't hit pan on the Too Faced one, which I'm really surprised about because I literally use these two every single day in every tutorial and everything. So I really, really love these two combined together. Blushes, the blushes that stood out to me this year, I'm pretty sure you guys already know which two I'm going to mention. But the first one I'm going to mention is my Rockator by Benefit. This is the um, like shimmery rose gold one although this one doesn't come up rose gold on me it just comes out very neutral this is what i have on my cheeks today i don't know if you guys can see it but i literally love this in the summer i love this in the winter i love this in the fall it is the prettiest neutral blush that i own in my collection it can also be a perfect spring blush color as well i use this in the spring as well and i just love it so so much and i haven't hit pan which i'm really surprised um but i love this and all their blushes smell so good from benefit another blush that i wanted to mention is literally a brush that i've been i've used so so much this year and this is 05 luminoso by milani this used to be a like a ball and now it's like getting flat because that's how much i used it and this is the prettiest blush for summer spring fall any time of the year but i use this blush a little bit more in the summer and springtime because it has a little bit of like luminosity to it so it gives you that glow to the cheeks but also it can be kind of like a pastel orange like really pretty for the fall time as well i just love this blush so much and i like the way this looks with my pale skin um any orange blush really but that one is one of my favorites because it's so pigmented as well i totally forgot to mention the primer that i've been loving this past year and this is the benefit professional and i've been using this for a whole year and this is already a second tube this year um i literally love this stuff for the whole entire year if you have problems with pores 
definitely try this out for your pores i do only apply it where i have pores i don't apply it anywhere else because when i do apply it everywhere else it makes me break out but where my pores are for some reason it doesn't make me break out which i guess it's kind of weird because i only break out on my chin really um so i only apply it like right here where my nose is and it is like perfect i love this and i'm already almost done with this it only has like this much left on to eyes the next thing i'm going to mention is mascaras and I'm pretty sure you guys already know the mascaras I'm going to mention. And these are the L'Oreal Telescopics. These are all three of the L'Oreal Telescopics. This is the gold one, which this one is called the Telescopic. I believe this is just an, the original. This one is the Carbon Black Telescopic. And this is the Shocking Extensions Telescopic. So all three of these combined together makes your eyelashes amazing. And the difference between them is this one has a small brush. To it so I don't know if you guys can see that but that brush is so small so it gets right into the lashes and it separates really nicely but this brush is even smaller than that black brush so this one really separates really nicely and then this one just goes in and adds length and volume as well so that's the why I love all three of these I never really got to explain myself why I like all of these together um, they're very different but um, they do work the same in some way. They either lengthen or separate really nicely. So that's why I really like all three of these together. And then another mascara that is not part of the telescopic. This is a high-end mascara. And I really, really love this even by itself. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I believe this is already like my fourth tube. I've had like three sample sizes and then a full big size. And I love this mascara so much. It is like... I don't know what it is about it, but it makes your eyelashes so thick and so long. It does kind of clump them a little bit, which that's why I go in with my telescopics and it separates it really nicely. But other than that, I really, really love this mascara and I do want to repurchase this again. I've been repurchasing like this like crazy this past year and I cannot stop using it. Next thing is eyeliners and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know I never really was into eyeliners until this upcoming year. I don't know what it is but something inspired me to try out eyeliners and winged eyeliner and all that kind of stuff and so I started buying all these eyeliners and gel liners and liquid liners and pencil liners and all these kind of stuff but um, the eyeliners that stood out to me I have four of them which is really surprising. So the first a liquid liner that I tried was the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. I think I went through three of these and um, I literally love this so so much. It has like a thin thin brush so it really helps with that um, like flicking when you're doing your winged liner. And then another um, liquid liner that I decided to try and this literally has no writing on it because that's how much I used it. This was actually my mom's and she decided to let me use this and this is this Stila, I don't know what this is called, Stila Liquid Day All Liner, something like that. But this one is another good one. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline one except this one has a shorter like brush and it's a lot more skinnier. The only thing about this one is that the little applicator like bends easily after a while it's usually stiff when you first get it and then when you start using it a lot it kind of bends so that's the only thing I don't like about that eyeliner and then um, recently I believe this was in the summer when I um, tried this one out this one's a Smashbox uh, liquid liner pen in jet black and it just looks like this this one reminded me of the Stila one but I liked this one a lot more because the brush doesn't like wear off or anything and this one is like really really black. I loved it this one and this one I believe it dried matte. I wasn't sure but I've been really into matte liners lately so that's why I haven't been using these anymore. I don't know I just went through so many eyeliners but I really like those. And then the next one I've been using a lot this past year, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. And this is a gel eyeliner, so I do, of course, use this with a uh, brush or an eyeliner bl brush. But um, I like this because it is very, very intense and very, very black. So that's why I like this. I haven't used it in a while because I've been using a new eyeliner because I've been obsessed with eyeliners, but... 
This is a great one for the drugstore and it works like any other gel liner except this one is very intense and very black. I totally forgot to mention these when I was talking about foundations and stuff but for applicators for um, foundations I've been loving my beauty blenders. I have a lot of beauty blenders so I have the black one, two pink ones, the white one. I did have the purple one but I gave it to my mom and then I have the Real Techniques one which works exactly like the rest of the beauty blenders and I also have these like mini ones for the concealer and I just love beauty blenders so much I just keep them in this little jar mine are really dirty so I do need to wash them um, because I just used this one today but um, I really really love beauty blenders instead of a brush if you do use a beauty blender I like using it with more of a liquidy foundation if you're gonna use a brush I recommend using it with like a moussey foundation instead of the beauty blender because I think that the beauty blender kind of sticks to the moussey formula of the foundation but other than that I really really love beauty blenders it makes your foundation go on so flawlessly and I literally have been using beauty blenders for such a long time now and I've become like a beauty blender hoarder as you guys can see. The thing I want to talk about makeup wise is lip products and lip stuff and my camera is flashing because it's gonna die so I need to hurry up and talk about this but this is the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I got this um, right after Christmas last year and I wanted to get the Santa the Santa Claus or Santa one but I decided to get the bubblegum one and this one is so so good for exfoliating literally I've used it so many times and it's still full to the top so this is great for exfoliating your lips and two MAC lipsticks that I've been loving. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know I have a big MAC lipstick collection. But these are just the two that stood out to me this year and have been standing out to me. So one of my newest purchases or newest ones this year is MAC Kind of Sexy. And this one is just a basic neutral um, corally pink color. And this one is good for every day. And then another one that I really like is Max Cream Cup. You guys know I love this lipstick. I have already repurchased this. And this one is already like down to the bottom basically. And this one is a nudie pinky color. I've done so many tutorials with this lip color. And both of these lip colors actually. So if you guys want to see those I will either link them or you can go find them whatever you like but I have done tutorials with these as well next lip products I wanted to mention are actually all in this little bowl right here and these are my lip my NYX butter glosses lip um, glosses I believe I discovered these the year before last and I still am loving these so so much and I still collect them and I always find a lip color in here and I already repurchased I think two of them I repurchased creme brulee and tiramisu tiramisu those are my two main ones that I always always use and I've done so many tutorials with these I am going to do like a swatch video I've been saying this for the longest time but I keep collecting them so I do really want to do like some kind of like swatch video and stuff that way you guys can see like all the colors I have but I have I believe both of 2014 collection and the 2013 collection okay so that is it for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already just to be updated on when i upload videos and i will see you guys in my next video